Hello friends. Now we are in the video number three for UI interactions and we are going to learn output actions and methods. Okay. So what are the output actions in UI interaction? What are the output methods? So this could be one of your interview question and let's understand these two terms. All right. Let's get started. Anyone who is new to our channel, please do subscribe. Please do like all the videos that you are watching on our channel. With that request, let's get started. Now, let's understand the meaning of output actions. Right? There is a term called output actions in UI interaction. So, what is this meaning? This could be any activities. Output actions means action or activities that we'll be using in UI path which is used to extract data from an UI element. So there is a uh, website from which you want to extract some data, you want to extract some text. So all of these things are called output activities or output actions. Okay. So give me some examples. So what are those examples? It could be get text activity is one of the activity that we can use to extract the data. It could be get OCR text activity. It could be get full text activity. So these are a couple of examples. Now the confusion comes when somebody asks you what are the output methods used in UiPath. So what are those output methods? What is output method? It is the technology behind which enables the UiPath activities to extract data. For example, if I'm using get text activity, there should be some technology behind which is helping this activity to extract data from a web page or to extract data from an application or a UI interface, right? So how does that extract the data using a technology that is known as output methods, right? So what are those technologies so for example, what are those technologies using which this can extract data? So one is called full text, native and OCR. Okay, these are the three different ways, full text, native and OCR. So let's understand each of this in detail. So hope you have seen how to use screen scrape wizard. Okay, so I'm going to show you practically, but it is very, very important to understand a couple of terms, concepts. I don't entertain uh, you to remember or recall theories. I am not a guy to remember theories a lot. Uh, but again, we need to have a bit of understanding. Okay, There are a lot of text here, which I personally do not like to read and go through them. But again, they are very, very important. So I felt I should have them, couple of them at least. Okay, So let's understand. These are the three different technologies which are behind the scene used to extract data from the ui interface so one is the full text native and ocr okay before we get through the text let's have a look okay so when i'm using screen scraping right and let's say i'm selecting um, uh, some option uh, on my screen so what would happen if i go back give it a second okay so you will see a screen scrape wizard has come and here in the scraping method there are three different options full text native and OCR. Okay, so the full text is the default one. By default, it will go through the full text. Okay, full text is the default one. Now, uh, there is something called native and there is something called OCR. OCR stands for optical character recognition. So, let's understand what are this and how all of this works. Okay, let's understand. So, full text, it is the default method, fastest and works in the background does not work on virtual desktop interface or VDIs. It captures the visible text only. So whatever is visible on the screen, it can capture. Cannot capture text position and formatting. Let's say it's red in color. What are the formatting of the text? That cannot be captured by the full text. You just capture the text. Okay. Plain text. Now, native method. The native, the second method is the native method. Works with the application that utilizes graphics design interface. This is a Microsoft graphics design interface it can extract the text position and formatting that is the benefit so you want to take the color of the text and all of that then you go for native option and try to extract the data okay scrape the data it does not support virtual environment same problem it cannot work in the background okay the problem on this one is it cannot work in the background it has to be on the foreground 
okay ocr the ocr is something we know virtual desktop interface that's where uh, the ocr engine will be used okay so this ocr is nothing but optical character recognition it works with virtual environments that is the benefit okay and it can read text from images if there are images or pictures even from there using ocr engine i can read the text it cannot work in the background two default engines are there google tesseract google tesseract is one of the engine microsoft so let's see all of this okay because uh, for me um, understanding or remembering the text is one of the difficult part now let's see let's understand all of this okay so for this what i'm going to do let's take a simple activity called get text okay so get text is the activity now what i'm going to do i am going to open um, let's say google site okay let's say i am going to uh, let's say i want to extract this particular data from the google page okay so what i will do i will simply take the get text activity i will indicate on screen and i am going to highlight this so it is going to get the text okay so now i wanted to see if it is really extracting the data so i am using a log message and i am saying as information and here in the get text in the output i am going to create a variable called output text and i am going to use that over here okay and i am going to use that variable over here output text all right done now let's run this and see if this works or not if it can extract that particular specific text okay, let's give it a second all right completed let's go back go to the output panel and you can see microsoft official home page has been extracted so this is one of the way this is one of the example so so what we are learning from this is that uh, this output methods full text native and i will give you a detailed description detailed usage of screen scrape okay how do you do a screen scrape how do you utilize a ocr but before that let me also give you another example let's say i was talking about ocr right so for ocr if you simply type ocr or you can there is activity called get ocr text do you see this is the activity so i will not go through in detail but let me tell you there are engines if you see ui path screen ocr is the engine which has come so there are several engines if you see on on my ui path studio you may or may not have all of this but again you will have google cloud my microsoft azure so i can even exchange let's say i don't want to use ui path screen ocr rather i want to use microsoft ocr so i can drag and i can delete that and drag and drop so this way i can utilize the ocr engines all right so full text is the default one native is the microsoft graphical design interface that's where it will be using for the gdis and um, the ocr is for the optical so only thing that you need to remember is what are this how they are, how does they work okay if you remember this is a little bit of theoretical part but again in the next videos i am going to come up with uh, usage uh, we will get a real time demonstration of all these activities and we should master these activities all right guys thank you very much have a great day